We're being asked to change p of x to vertex form. So I will write p of x and a, b, and c. And then we'll be able to calculate h and k. So a equals 2, the leading coefficient, b equals negative 10, and c equals negative 1. Now I can calculate h from the formula negative b over 2a. So that'll be negative, negative 10 over 2 times 2 which is 10 over 4 positive which is 5 over 2. Trying to make it a little neater there. So h equals 5 over 2. Once I know h, I can calculate k. I do that by substituting the h number in for every x in p of x. You can perform this calculation by hand, as I'm doing here, or on your calculator. I changed minus 1 to minus 2 over 2. They're the same thing, but now I can say negative 25 over 2 minus 2 over 2 is negative 27 over 2. That's what k is. Here's p of x in vertex form. We're also asked to uh, state what the vertex is. The vertex is hk, or 5 over 2 comma negative 27 over 2. Oops, I put a negative in front of the 5 over 2. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are driving me crazy. Crazy er. Now I'm going to enter the answers into my math lab. It was much easier if I wrote them on paper first.
Oh no, I left off the power too. When I check my answer, oh dear, I do hate sorry that's not correct. Now I have to find the perfect place to put the power to so that my math lab doesn't count it wrong again. There you go. Aha! Bravo for me. Now for the vertex, notice I'm using the ordered pair tool because after all the vertex is just a point. It's an ordered pair. Now it's time to graph. The first thing you do is you click on the parabola icon. Then you read the yellow banner. It tells you what to do. Graph the vertex first. So you're going to, to uh, drag that dot down to where the vertex is. It's going to be located at 2.5 comma negative 13.5. Now right now I'm on 3. I haven't quite realized that that's not 2.5. But I'm about to realize it. There, that's good. Now I have to come down another half. Come on, you can do it, Barbara. There you go. Come on. Down, down, down. You can do it. You can do it. Click. Yay. Look at the upper right-hand corner. It says 2.5 comma negative 13. Aha. Uh -huh. But for when I, when I clicked on the vertex, it was at negative 13.5. Now the other point, you need one other point and that other point is um, the easiest one is the y-intercept which is the C number. 